We now move to topical questions. Question number one, Neil Findlay. To ask the Scottish Government what support it will give to the West Lothian area following an announcement of the closure of the Hall's meat processing plant. Cabinet Secretary John Swinney. Presenting officer, we are committed to working with West Lothian Council and other task force partners to explore all options for a recovery plan following the disappointing news of the closure of Halls of Broxburn. A further meeting will be held on the 24th of October to discuss the plan in more detail and identify those interventions that would provide the greatest impact ahead of a task force meeting on the 30th of October. Neil Findlay. I thank the Cabinet Secretary for his answer and for his efforts on halls. I understand that a decade ago, following the Motorola closure, the then Scottish Executive put in something around £10 million to West Lothian to support the area through the trauma of that closure. Given the immense challenge and the very localised nature of the job losses at halls, can the Cabinet Secretary advise what scale of support is likely to be offered to help the county cope with this disaster? Cabinet Secretary. What I would say to Mr Finlay at the outset is to reinforce what I have said to Councillor John McGuinty, the leader of West Lothian Council, that the Government will work um, in a partnership way with the local authority and with other partners to ensure that we tackle the economic issues and consequences that will clearly arise as a result of the decision about Halls of Broxburn. Um, at this stage in the proceedings, um, I am unable to put a cash figure on that, but what I would want to assure Mr Finlay about is that the suggestions that have been made by West Lothian Council, developed with my officials, some of the points that Mr Finlay has raised in his correspondence to me, uh, the points raised also by uh, my colleagues uh, Fiona Hislop and Angela Constance at local level, um, will be very much considered as part of the recovery plan. We do acknowledge the significance of the economic impact and the localised nature of the economic impact, and that will essentially structure the approach that we take to designing a recovery plan. Neil Finlay. Thanks very much for that. Could I just ask very simply that the Cabinet Secretary keeps uh, regional list members informed of uh, what is going on also? Cabinet Secretary. Uh, President Officer, can I, can I say that uh, throughout the, the whole dealing with the issue in um, Halls of Broxburn, there has been a tremendous amount of cooperation across the political spectrum and across public and bodies and elected bodies uh, in the West Lothian area. Um, I have greatly appreciated the involvement of um, members of um, Mr Finlay's party in the task force as well as uh, my own uh, colleagues. And I can assure him that uh, I will uh, keep Parliament up to date uh, and regional members um, and the relevant constituency members up to date with the steps that we take. And that uh, if there are any suggestions that members have as to what steps the government should take, I would want to make clear in Parliament today the Government's willingness to hear those suggestions and to act upon them.